Today, we finally have Zank from Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves, The Golden Archive. The box art on this, stellar. I don't mind no plastic window, because this box art is freaking incredible. This series, the movie came out ages ago. The figures came out ages before that, but for some reason they waited to put out Zank until now. Zank is a mysterious Thane who fled his homeland and the evil red wizard who rules there. Zank uses his knowledge and magic to help those around him, and boy, what a guy. He is just such a solidly good, pure character. I love him. I do struggle with Hasbro figures. I don't know if I find them worth it. $24.99? Let's get this out of the box. I don't mind the windowless packaging, but this experience is not fun. I don't, in this, I don't know. There's got to be a better way they could package them. I get it. It doesn't matter. There's no window, but I don't know. There's something about this experience that is just, it ain't it. It ain't it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. The figure itself, it's very well detailed. It's fantastic. But it's mostly plastic. It's plastic cast in these colors. It's not painted plastic, which is fine. And it lines up pretty well to the art and the movie. The detail, I can't say the detail isn't there. I just don't know if it's $25 worth. It's mostly molded, which, you know, that's still a fantastic sculpt. The cape comes off. That's nice. Uh, leaves a big peg hole in the back. Not ideal. Some nice kind of trim on the cape. The figure, the movement is limited by these cool shoulder pauldrons, the armor. Otherwise, he has the standard shoulder joints, the bicep cut, the double jointed elbows. Fantastic articulation. You just can't, you're not, you're not going up any. The wrist, there's not really wrist movement. It's kind of up and down. The legs, again, normal articulation, but his kind of skirt robe thing blocks that. So he does have double jointed knees, I think. And then really cool detailed boots. He's got the scabbard. It's a beautiful figure. I do wish it came with more than just the one sword as an accessory. Granted, there's really not many other accessories to him in the movie, so I don't know what they could have done. It just feels very bare bones. Maybe, a, I don't know, a better sword, extra weapons, expand the character. Sliding it into the scabbard there. It's pretty neat. This figure looks incredible, especially as a movie fan. Super happy to have it. I just don't know. I'm just not fully justified or fully pleased ever with a Hasbro figure. What do you folks think? I know everybody's into the Marvel Legends, this movie line. The movie is criminally underrated. Didn't do as well as it should have. It's a fantastic movie. Go see it. So I don't know how people feel about the figures. I was super excited these dropped. I think they did a stellar job. He is six inches, maybe a little bit more. He's definitely taller than Super 7 Surfer Mikey, which that's like a six inch, seven inch line, although Mikey's a little crouched. I don't know. So yeah, it's, it's a lot of figure. I also struggle a lot with Hasbro figures standing. I can't get these to stand super well. Is that a Hasbro thing or is this just a D and D thing? I don't know. What does everybody think? For me, Hasbro is very much a clearance item, though. I haven't seen them clearance them for quite some time now. Certainly never the D and D figures. I wish they would. They'd be out for months and months. Zank is new along with Doric. So he's not going to get clearanced. Unless he does, I don't know, at some point they gotta move on from the movie, right? Right? If you haven't seen the movie yet, I can't recommend it enough. One of my favorite movies of the year.